Okay, as originally thought, and I took that last video down because I'm replacing it with this one. We smashed records this year. We broke 4,000 up from what was last year. Three thousand seven hundred fifty-five. How about twenty thirteen? Let's take a look. Three thousand five sixty-eight. And here's a fun one. Let's just go back to like year two thousand. Let's see how many there were in the year two thousand. Because remember, there were four thousand and four so far this year. It is December nineteenth, two thousand fifteen. There were four in the year two thousand. December nineteenth, two thousand fifteen. There are so far. 4,004. I had someone uh, drop a comment. Really good stuff, man. Compelling argument, for sure. Very convincing, if you ask me, because I don't believe in outer space and asteroids and all this kind of stuff. It says it uh, could possibly and probably is methane. And that's pretty. That's a pretty compelling argument. Methane's rising. It's freezing and it's coming back down and it burns because especially when you have headlines like this the worst gas leak in California's history isn't close to being fixed an environmental crisis unfolds in a Los Angeles suburb a massive natural gas leak in California is still releasing huge amounts of methane into the environment almost two months after it began driving over a thousand families from their homes and prompting the FAA to create a no-fly zone over the area and there have been, if I'm not mistaken, there have been record levels of methane released from the earth over the last several years. And what's interesting is you also have these weird booms, right? These loud booms being heard all over the country. Could be under underground explosions and making uh, more room and building more bunkers. Could be. But in, one of the things that was reported before the large earthquake of the Madrid, on the Madrid line all those years ago were loud cannon-style booms. So all this stuff could indeed be related. It might not be anything from outer space. Like I said, I don't believe in that stuff, and I think the methane argument is very, very uh, compelling. Because if we have all sorts of reports of, of this stuff happening, and that just makes sense. That stuff's rising, it's freezing, it's coming down and going pop and burning the whole way down. Or I guess it could be blooping, but I did with my own eyes see one of these things. Um, I think it was two years ago. I even did a video on it, and I wasn't full of crap because... I came home and told my wife, it was on my, I was on my way to work, I got off of like, uh, I think it was like 8 o'clock that night or something like that, and by the time I came home and told her that I saw it on the way to work, she said, yeah, I heard it was on the news and everything, it was reported. So she even, so she knows I was full of crap because I told her before she even knew and it was reported on the news. And I saw it with my own eyes, but, you know, I wasn't there to, 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 to catch it or to, you know, I, I was in a car, but their blue beam's pretty convincing if that was blue beam. But it could have been, man. I mean, it could have been a trick. Could have been a hologram all, for all I know. But it looked pretty cussing real. So record-breaking fireballs again this year. We'll see what next year holds. And um, I don't know. Maybe it's methane. Or maybe it's the return of Planet X. Ooh. I don't know, man. I don't know about that thing either. <laughs> it's, too, it's too stupid. This place is dumb. You know what I mean? Like, you can't. Can't figure nothing out. Bunch of ridiculousness. Who knows? Maybe that thing's just one big hologram, too. I don't know. I give up. Not really, though. <laughs> so, hey, I always say it because I got to because I really do appreciate everybody out there. So, thank you to my subscribers.